Today we're going to make a body splash or cologne. Now we're going to be using the blending by notes technique that you learned in an earlier lesson and we're going to be looking more at the aromatic fragrance of the essential oil versus the therapeutic properties. And we want to make sure that you go ahead and get out your workbook. You want to turn to your aromatic blending form because you're going to write down each time you add a drop to your formula because you don't want to forget it. It might be just that perfect signature blend <laughs> and you don't want to mess it up. So we want to have that form ready to go. Now the recipe that we're going to be looking at uh, is on page 122. Now you have a choice. You can make it a splash or you can make it a clone and that'll be determined based on how much you dilute it. Okay, so let's take a look at our supplies and what we need to have on hand. We're going to have our glass bowl ready for our blending of essential oils. We're going to be using a glass bottle to put our perfume in while we are waiting for it to sit and to uh, age. And uh, we also have our measuring spoons. I have a hundred proof vodka. Now, in the case of if you have perfumers alcohol available then use that if not for this exercise you can go to the abc store and get your alcohol and then we have distilled water this is going to be for the dilution of the product our funnel this time will be a little bit smaller than the last one we used this was for a bigger mouth this one is smaller we're going to need a tiny one to get the oil into our perfume bottle and that will be something that you get to choose, you know, maybe go to a craft store or maybe a flea market and find something very beautiful to put your product in after you're finished. In this case, I found this online. It has a very small opening, so that's why we're going to need that funnel to get our product in. And then it has a little sprayer. So this will make a cute little gift, a stocking stuffer, or just something you maybe for Mother's Day, make a nice product. We got our coffee beans ready to go because we want to have those to clear our palate. And we're going to need our perfume strips. Now, you will be using these each time you want to, you know, choose which oil to try together. So you're going to be fanning these again under your nostrils just to get a sense of what you like. This is purely by your nose, what you, you think smells good together. So we've got our dark glass bottle. I also have this other beaker here. Now this is a 10 mil, so this was great for blending. If you are going to use that size bottle, you would use this and it has the little marks on it for you. So it's easier to know exact measurements in that case. Otherwise, we're gonna rely on our pipette to do our drops and blending. Okay, so for this recipe, I have chosen from uh, one of our books our Organic Beauty with Essential Book. I have a body splash recipe that I'm going to use. And this one calls for sandalwood. Let's see if we can find it up here. We're going to also be using eucalyptus and lavender. Let's see. Let find the lavender. And I had, um, I think I'm going to try something a little different because I'm thinking I want it to be more of a manly cologne. So I'm thinking about adding maybe some frankincense. And you know, you can go up to three to five oils. It really is up to you as to how much you want to use in, uh, in mixing this. This is going to be using the blending by note technique, but we want to also be able to mix. So, you know, we might want to use two top notes this time, like combine our lemon with our bergamot and just a touch of eucalyptus, not too much. And then use our frankincense base, and I'm also gonna be pulling out the sandalwood, because we wanna use that as well. So now we're going to look at how many drops of oil we're going to use. Now, this again will be based on the size that you're using to you, for your blend. In this case, this is a one ounce. So we're probably gonna add up to 24 drops of essential oil. So now we're just going to take a look again at what we have and we're going to just begin with our base note. So we might add about four, one, two, three, four, four drops of rare frankincense. And then I want to go with my middle note. I'm a little hesitant 
on the eucalyptus. It's, it's a very strong menthol. So I'm probably maybe just do one drop of this. Just to give it a little bit of you know, different. And now we're going to go ahead and add our lavender because that's our middle note. And you remember when you were studying four, five, six, um, that the lavender is going to last about two to four hours on the body. Okay, and let's get our sandalwood in there because that's our good, another base note. Okay. Now I want to just stir this up and let's just see how it is, if you like it. You know, as you're adding each oil, you probably just want to make sure and test it under your nose and just see if that's what you like. And you can say, hmm, maybe you want to just add another, just something else. I'm going to add the lemon in. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Because I happen to like adding the citrus. I added two more drops of that. So, just to give it a little bit more of a citrus. Nice, nice. I'm still thinking it's not quite there. I want to add one more oil. <laughs> I'm thinking cypress. Again, this is for a man, so I'm thinking something a little more woodsy. And that might do it. And there we go. All right, let's check this again and see if we like it. Now again, we're not adding it to the base carrier yet because we just want to make sure we like this before we add it to the uh, base carrier. In this case, we're using vodka. Now, I have a measuring spoon here. We could actually measure out I have our vodka here, and we can measure it out here, pour it in, and mix it all together. Or we can add it directly to our glass bottle. So we can use the pipette to do that, or we can do it this way. So I'm going to try it this way first and see how that works for us. So it, it, hopefully we won't make a mess out of this. Let's see. Okay, so I'm adding four and a half teaspoons of vodka. Okay. That was one. And you want to do this in your kitchen so you don't make a mess on your furniture. I have a good clean working space for you as you're watching your... I could go down the hole. There it goes. Okay. Yes, I am making a mess here, aren't I? <laughs> this is a small opening here. All right, so after we do this, we're going to add our distilled water. Okay, we need to do two more and a half of these. Now, if you, if you were paying attention, you might have noticed I I probably should have picked up some more strips and tried those oils together because when I got into the blending aspect of it, I realized maybe I didn't like it as much and I needed to add something else. So that's when you really need to rely on your perfume strips to help you, guide you as you're blending. Okay, so now we need to add two teaspoons of distilled water. Okay, that went down quick. All right. Okay. It's okay, make a little bit of a mess, right? All right, so I have my carrier ready to go. Now I have my, my essential oils and I'm going to go ahead and add these in. And then I'm going to add the cap. And we shake well. This is in an airtight container where I'm going to allow it to sit for two weeks. And then, you know, every day I'm going to go and I'm going to shake it up several times a day, two to three times a day. The more the better because we want to keep mixing the oils because this is going to age and it's going to smell quite different than the first time. So, you know, right now you can go ahead and just smell it and see if you like it. But we want to set it aside now and we're just going to let it sit for two weeks. And then we're going to pull it back out. After the two weeks, we're going to take a coffee filter and we're going to filter our cologne through that as and, you know, get anything that might 
not have done well and rebottle this into our nice container here. So after this is ready, we're going to take this and go ahead and use our funnel. After we clean it, we'll go ahead and pour it into this bottle here. Uh, once it's finished, it'll be, you know, of course, aged. But we're going to go ahead and fill this bottle up. And in this case, I have it in a dark colored bottle, so there's no light that's going to be affecting it. But in most cases, you will see the perfumes are typically in uh, glass bottles. Um, in fact, this is one that I made called Citrus Bliss. And I actually, this particular fragrance, I added about 23 essential oils in it. So it's a very, very beautiful fragrance. It is in a glass bottle. It's been aging for several months now, and it's a beautiful fragrance. So you get to play with that. You get to be creative when you're doing your blending and have fun with it. Don't forget to make notes in your report. Use your aromatic blending form this time. Here's a sample of it in your book on page 123. Have fun.